Okay, this is actually a sewer mapping project I'm doing over here in northeast St. Petersburg. And currently we're in the kitchen line. And you can see that this line is packed with cast iron flakes. They're going to be doing some uh, kitchen sink uh, moving here. So you can see that this line is completely packed with cast iron. So I highly recommend getting the sewer line jetted. What I'm going to do is I'm going to locate the clean out here. So while I'm doing it, I'm just going to inspect the the line from the main stack to the clean out. You need to see all that flakes at the bottom of the pipe. So we're going to go ahead and pause the video here since we're at the base of the stack and resume the video once I get to the base of the main stack pushing out. Okay so we're at the base of the stack. This is going to be on the front left hand side of the house. Looks like everything is looking good so far. We got some toilet paper in the line, so I would definitely recommend not using Charmin Cotton or Angel Soft here. As you can see that the, the type of toilet paper that you're using is just clumping up in the line versus just falling apart like uh, Scott's 1000 does. Sewer line other than the kitchen line looks to be so far in great condition. Jetting would just be specifically for the kitchen line if you desire to have that done. Alright, you can, you can see here that, uh, alright, so this is holding water because of the toilet paper getting stuck in the line over here, and I'm pushing it along right now, so I'm going to have uh, someone go inside and run it and flush it toilet on the inside. So what I'm my main purpose is to find out where the clean out is. Here comes the first flush, I could hear it. Alright, so this line runs across the house from left to right. You can see all the toilet paper remaining in the line. Even though we did flush it, it still sits in the line, so I would recommend changing the type of toilet paper here. But the cast iron itself looks to be in great condition. and round, not holding any water anymore that we relieved the, <coughs> the blockage from the toilet paper. And once we get to the base of the stack, I will pause the video and resume it once I get to the other base of the stack. Alright, we're at the base of the stack. Okay, so this is the base of the stack on the back side of the house. The uh, 
the base of the stack of the bar sink was completely filled with cast iron so that would also need to be jetted to get rid of the cast iron scaling And uh, there's a little bit of flaking on the bottom of this pipe, so jetting this would be just a really good uh, preventative. Extremely long run from the back side of the house to the front side of the house. Holding a little bit of water. Definitely outside the house right now. I'm gonna go ahead and pull back just a little bit so that way we can locate this spot. Alright, so right here it is holding up to the water. We're gonna we were mapping out the sewer line of where it was uh, exiting the house. It does exit the front of the house. I'm gonna have to conclude the video here since my battery is dying. And uh, the, I would recommend jetting to descale the rest of this line because there is some parts of the house where there is cast iron. It will solve the problem for the kitchen line and also the bar sink line. Thanks for watching.